Hey there guys and welcome back. Got a hand buff deck today. I wanted to try before hand buffs are gone. With the new homecoming I don't think there'll be a hand buff archetype but I mean I love hand buffs so we'll get right into this. We got two recons. Look at two random bronze units in your deck and play one. Two first lights. Um, This is the weird thing. Two first lights. Either clear hazard which don't really see weather much or play a random bronze from your deck but it does give elven merc another thing to pull besides the recon which is kind of nice um but it works like a crappy recon if you use it for recon because you're stuck with whatever it gives you so that's all right i guess it's more for filtering which can be good then we got two elven mercenaries to look at two random bronze special cards from your deck and play one uh yeah to search out that recon search out another one search out your second recon and search out something else that way you get a bunch of deck filtering done then we got two elven sword masters deal damage equal to this unit's power to an enemy you get this thing buffed up a bit ends up being pretty big point swing um if you hit it with the thing that buffs it by three then it's like a 16 point bronze but you did have to play a seven point bronze so it doesn't equal out so much it the deck isn't running dragoons because we know dragoons don't work in the current meta they just die over and over no matter how many plays so no Dragoons in this one, but we got two Half Elf Hunters to spawn a Doom Default copy of this unit to the right of the unit. You play them, you get two Elves, kinda nice, because the deck's basically Elf based so we can search out, um, or bring out Arlene easy. Then we got two Hawker Supports, boost the unit in your hand by three, can, yeah, you try to hit the Elven Swordmaster with this because it's a hand buff deck, and then your Elven Swordmaster gets stronger if you can make that low tempo play, so that's a pretty... Decent one. Then we got two Dalblathana Archers, deal three damage, then deal one damage. Not too bad, just hopefully we don't pull them off first light. Then we got Brahe Neophyte, boost two random units in your hand by one. Uh, two random units, not too bad. I mean, we're not running a Disloyal in this deck, surprisingly, so there's that. <laughs> so we won't hit the Disloyal, I guess that's a bonus. Then we got a Mandrake, because the deck's trying to be a meta deck, so you gotta run Mandrake pretty much. Uh, heal a unit and strengthen by 6 or reset a unit and weaken it by 6. Things so versatile and so good right now. Um, it's random basically mostly all, every deck if it can fit it in. And then we got marching orders to boost lowest bronze or silver unit in your deck by 2 then play it. This will grab you an Alpha Mercenary. Pretty good. If you already played your Alpha Mercenaries or you have both of them already then it will grab you an Ida or a Vader Maker. Either one will give you an Elzer's Thunder so that's pretty useful. Then we got the Idos for Impenetrable Fog, Clear Skies, or Elzer's Thunder. It's Mage with Elzer's Thunder, so it's good because Elzer's Thunder does 9 damage, so it takes care of like everything, but besides 10 Power Engines, which there's only like the Wild Hunt Hounds for those. And we got the Vader Maker for another Elzer's Thunder, or another Weather, but most likely the Elzer's Thunder. Then we got um, Arlen, if 5 Elves are on the board or on turn end, some of this unit on a random row. Pretty good. I mean, we just get the elves out. This thing comes out brain. It's basically an elven sword master and it buffs triads, but the only triad we have is a glaze. So, secondary effect. Not too useful in here. I mean, you will have a nine power glaze instead of an eight. I guess that's a bonus. And we got the Siri Nova because, yeah, we're running two of each card. So, Siri Nova is a pretty good finisher. And then Dandelion Poet for some filtering. Mm, could switch this out for Trist Telekinesis would probably be a good idea to do because I mean Trist Telekinesis just proves to be usually more useful than Dandelion Poet. Then we got Yorvith, deal 8 damage to an enemy if the unit was destroyed boost all elves in your hand by one. But we got plenty of elves so this thing should get you plenty of buffing so it's pretty good for that and it's 8 damage so that's not too bad. Then we got the crazy card of Glace. I mean if your opponent runs a special card this thing just crazy value no matter what special card it is. Thunderbolt Potion, it's a 20 point gold. Like, really? <laughs> this thing does not need 8 points, but it'll all be changed coming soon. So, Glace, Glace, yeah, Glace is really good. Only way to counter it is not play any special cards, which for most decks, that's hard. Then we got Ethne to resurrect Bronze or Silver special card. Kind of useful because you got Elzer's Thunders and stuff to remake, so you can res one of those, or Marching Orders, or Mandrake, which can be useful in a lot of situations. So, that's kind of neat i mean it's not francesca which is what's really interesting because it's a fan buff and usually go for francesca to buff something by three more so you get more points but we'll try this out and i'll see you guys there <laughs> all right first up we got king brawn no king brawn 
discarding. Maybe it's a theory deck or something. This will be interesting. Um, well, we'll throw her back because we want to filter her out. We don't have marching orders, so holding on to Elven Merc's not too bad. Um, this guy's eggs are really good, and I want both these because we got two neophytes and they just hit random. Actually, the rest of this hand seems pretty good. I mean, there's other things I could want, but I have a pretty good, well, with my look, pretty crappy chance of neophyte hitting what I wanted to. But <laughs> I do have a decent amount of elves and Yorvis, so that's good too. And it'll hit my elven swordmaster, but not brain. Um... Considering we don't have this little unit in this deck, I guess we'll keep this and just not use the other two mulligans. We do go first. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to drop a half elf hunter first. Yeah. Before doing the elven merc combo, because if I end up hitting clear skies and it grabs me like that thing that does three than one damage, I'll be unfortunate. Um, then we'll play elven merc. Recon, definitely. Didn't get it, but alright. <laughs> we'll play this and we'll buff her up. So she does a decent amount of tempo swing now. Oh, it is a sort of discardy deck. That's cool. I need to kill something with this Yorvis as a problem. I want to try to thin my hand out some. I'm going to play Dandelion Poet. Ooh. <sighs> I don't want to drop this Neophyte till I get rid of some of these guys. I guess I can go with the first light and just rally and hope. Nah, it's actually not too bad in this situation because I can nail this down to three and then kill that off. Which will let my Yorvith kill that thing off and get me an elf. Whoop whoop. Yeah, I ended up picking a bunch of hours this week so I haven't been really making videos. I was like, I worked. 13 hours one day, doing another 10 hours tomorrow, so yeah, that's been fun. Um, Might as well kill this thing off and get my buffs going. And that's going to lessen the amount of cards in my hand, so when I play Neophyte, I have a pretty high chance of it hitting this Melvin Swordmaster, hopefully. Royal Decree, alright. How can I help? Ooh, this ends up being like a combi deck or something, all that. Because you fight those now and then. Alright, let's go with a Neo fight. Well, I hit the brain. That's one of them, right? I have to destroy for its secondary effect to buff my Iglesias by one. Well, it's looking like this Mandrake is going to be about useless against this guy. Alright, now let's play the second Neo fight. Yeah, hit both of them. Awesome. The Zeldin Swordmaster is 20 point swing. That's pretty good. Come here. Come get a heart, a bear hug. <laughs> so I'm debating on just killing his Morkvarg now, so he can't use it for carryover. Because I don't think this guy's going to have anything that I want to Mandrake. Is this a Marauder's deck? Could use his brain. Because, I mean, if he gives this round to me... Yeah, we're just going to kill that thing off. He will just carry over while we can. Because we don't have a disloyal, so I got to kind of plan for that. Alright, let's play Breen. And we'll kill this thing off. Alright, there we go. He's giving me the round, so now I can drive past him. And we'll be even in cards in the last round, and I got a Siri Nova and Elven 10 point Elven Swordmaster. Oh man, things could be pretty good. I think this is gonna go pretty well. Hopefully, let's throw this back. All right, Elven Merc, that's not too bad. We gotta drive past them though, because we don't have Disloyal, so can't really bleed them out. I'm guessing. I don't know what this is. He's running some discarding cards and some other cards. Did he just steal a Vader Maker? It can be a of the same color, so it could have been like Mandrake or 
Something like that, sadly. Yeah, we'll throw her back. Ooh, it's my last recon. Well, luckily I got that other first light, so Elvenberg's not completely dead. Combi? Oh, this is combi, isn't it? So, hmm. Let's play this guy. <laughs> so if he drops a bear or something, I gotta kill a little Elven Swordmaster. Oh no, Harold. So we could just buff this by six? I'm thinking that's how I'm gonna use the Mandrake. Unless he runs those guys who do a decent amount of damage, that should stop it. There will be no negotiation. Then I don't waste off as much, because I mean he's gonna have to do hmm, not good. one of the hmm, thanks. Does he run the five damage guys? Oh no, short. Okay. So we kill off short now. Because we know exactly what this is. This is a combi. May your sword and arm be one. Okay, there's a savage bear. The storm is coming. Do I lose Let's this still? While we still can. Oh, if this grabs me. Kispar. Yeah, that was bad. So we'll do three and then one. Which skull do I want to pop? This one. So we'll do three damage to that, one damage to this. So the strengthening effect goes away too. Oh, Wolfsbane. Is that going to be enough with Wolfsbane? Oh, that thing's one point off. Well, we know he drops combi last, so... Just go Elven Swordmaster, kill Ping off that thing. Could do that. I misplayed by... I could have hoped for an Elven Swordmaster, but... Pretty sure I still get this. Oh, no. Yep, we got it. <laughs> Couldn't combi us and pull it off, because his Mork Bark was gone and his Chort was gone. So, we already knew what was coming, so we just... Stop that anyway. I might slight misplay because I could have held on to the Elven Swordmaster that I buffed up to 10 to kill the bear, which was my original plan, and then hoped that when I reconned or whatever, it gave me the Elven Swordmaster so I could, or not Elven Swordmaster, Elven deal 3 damage and then deal 1, so I could have popped his chort that way, and then the combi would have been deader than it was. So that's the first game against combi. Let's get into the next one. Alright, game two, Dagon. Mr. Chi. No Mr. Chi. It's a cool name. I don't know why I like that name. <laughs> we got... Ooh. 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 Oh, God. This is probably one of the worst hands you could get. Because we don't want both Elvenbergs, and these first lights being my hand is not the best thing. And if I draw into a recon, too, like, I'm going to throw this guy back. Gonna throw this back. I guess I throw the first light back, because if I throw back an Elven Merc and it gives me a recon, then I'm totally screwed on that combo. So, we'll throw a first light back. Alright. And blue coin. Blue coin! We don't have any of our five powers either, which means my first light and everything have a high chance of hitting Elven Swordmaster. I don't like that. Hmm. We'll just start with a Hawker Sport. Buff up Brain. I can see this deck being like hurt by the fact that if you go first, just like any other hand buff deck, since you signed up for Future Tempo. So we're facing a Fog deck. Well, let's go Elven Merc, Recon, Elven Merc. Yeah! Everything to recon, and we'll save this first light to neophyte. None shall tread on us. 
Didn't hit the brain, but that's alright. He's gonna get a fog going. Now I can't just play the Hawker Sport, cause I'll lose. Don't want to clear skies yet. See if we can bait out more weather. Let's play Dandelion Poet. Ooh, Siri Nova. It's kind of weird that this deck runs the archers when, like, you're not running Scorch. We'll just kill off his fog. Lit. We'll see if he can, if he plays another weather here. Then I'll clear skies if he does. No rock elemental. Which means we do have a chance to make a slower tumble play. So I could just play this hawker support. Or I can go... See, <laughs> when you face monsters, it's like... Is this Sabbath? Uh, well, even if it is, we got Ethne, so we're gonna just stop this Griffin combo that he's about to try to do. And get that out of here. Rackaspore. I can deal with a Rackaspore. Much easier than anything else. So we're gonna play Hawker's Port here. Bump up this brain again. And then... Ooh, they hit that. That sucks. Because I was planning on that weather hitting it, so we... So we went at clear skies, I got a better buff. Um... Just straight up clear skies. Hopefully this gives me my Arlen and not Vader. Ah, alright, Vader. Fair enough. So we'll hit that. Kill that off. He's most likely going to take this first round. I mean, this Marine's going to be a huge tempo swing, but... Alright, let's clear skies. Is that going to be enough? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So we'll just first clear skies now. That'll stop his fog lift from buffing. Stop most of the harass that we're taking. So a fiend that he wants to eat later. Luckily we have Ethne, so we're gonna plan around that for sure. I and then we'll just this. kill this. I mean if this guy passes here, that'd be great because <laughs> then we'd have like the same thing again, Brain and Serenova. Griffin. Ooh, it hit the one power. Very nice. Very nice for us. This is just as strong as a Serenova. That's pretty crazy. So, we'll do this swing on that. And I'm not a... Hopefully this leaves us in the lead. Ah, it ties us. I'll take the tie, because I got a Siri Nova in that other card, so... And a Mandrake to reset his um, Osral that he's going to try to eat on us. Ah, he takes the tie, alright. So he's pretty confident what he's got too. Which I mean, we got a decent two cards here for a finisher. She's gonna probably be pretty useful. Um... What could I get if I throw him back? No, Hawker's a Neophyte. Neophyte would be the only thing I'd be sad to see. But I mean, I have a Glace and stuff in there, like... Okay, I'd be sad to see that too, because I forgot that's an option, but alright, fair enough. <laughs> so, do we just deal with that now? And leave him with one point? The time of the white frost and white light is now. Because if he plans on griffoning that and stuff.
Okay, another fiend, so we'll play our Alden Swordmaster. Then I'll drop Siri Nova after his next card, and then I'll Mandrake his Oz Roller. Ooh, Crones. 6, 12, 20. Tied. So you know Mandrake's coming from this ethne. <laughs> I think we got him. Short of that being a Siri Nova. But it's probably an Azrael, right? Azrael the Ghoul. Neither? Some random card? Where my Mandrake's not gonna matter? No, oh, Cyclops. Okay. So I go marching orders. Have no place I guess. In and this should grab me an Elven Swordmaster for 14. So. That's not too bad. We got him. <laughs> Why would you forfeit like two seconds before the game's over? Alright. Well, it's two, so we're getting in the last one. Okay. Not doing half bad, but. Dandelion Poe. I always thought Dandelion Poe would be better than Triss, but I don't know. It's so hard to judge, but most people say Triss, so I'm guessing Triss is better. Uh, let's get in the last one. Alright, Game 3, Crash and Great. So, Great I Swords, right? Great Swords. How do I deal with... You don't deal with Great Swords. That's what I've learned, unless you're running Thundercats. You just don't. <laughs> they always will win. <laughs> let's throw back an Elven Mercenary, then a Recon. Hey, a Glace, but unfortunately it's against Skellige, which usually has the most useless cards for us to take, like, unless you run Muzzle, because they usually only run Restore. Um, so, throw first light back. Can we get blue coin three times? Nope. But if it's a great sword, it's not like, oh, blue coin. Man. It's great swords. Probably gonna lose, even if you kill off all their great swords. Oh, it's another combi deck? Really? Another combi deck? Hmm. We don't have the Mandrake to kill that yet, so we're gonna have marching orders here. And try to pull off this recon combo, maybe? Nope. Should I go with a hand buff? For later. Considering it's com I'm guessing it's combi, I think the half elf hunter is better. Just to get out more elves, because you really want to take round one against combi. Especially if you don't have a disloyal, because they're just going to get a two card advantage on you and then be able to do their setup perfectly. Pretty much the way combi works is if you hey, manage to pull off two cards. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's some weird veterans deck, apparently. I was going to say, if it's you face combi, it's pretty much if they get two card advantage against you, you lose. So if you stop that, you can probably win. Um. Yeah, let's get this elf buff out, I guess. About to double gold here. And Yorvis. Smack that. Get our elves buffed. So this might just be veterans, which will be interesting actually, but restore combo I think is going to beat us out in the end. I'm just going to have to really focus on this brain and stuff, like once he starts dropping his bear masters that's where we're going to have a problem. I did miss out on a point of value there, because I didn't wait for his 8 power one, but technically I negated a point because I... I guess it evened out, because the other veteran wasn't there to get buffed by one after anyway. Oh, never mind, I gave him a reason to see Drifa, that's what I did. <laughs> uh, so... We are ahead. Do I want to face this deck in a long round? They usually want a lot more to reset up because they want like Bear Master and stuff in their deck. And if this can't be combi, so yeah, we'll pass there. Get 
Get her card advantage. I promise you a quick deal. If it is, it was a pretty bad combi deck, but it's definitely veterans, it seems. Veterans are fun. They used to be a lot more fun back when I was trolling with them, back when I ran Summoning Circle Decoy and all that when they first came out. That was the fun times of veterans. Now they're too meta. They're no fun anymore. <laughs> um, throwback Clear Skies. Alright. Have a pretty high chance of Clear Skies giving us Swordmaster since we got like none of them in our hand. Oh, he's gonna play us out. Does he actually have. Disloyal? Or is he just gonna try to speed us out? Him? Oh, here comes Disloyal Control. He got the ultimate Disloyal play. That's 13 that ties you for your Disloyal play. Which is not too bad. Oh. <laughs> so we want to play these like last when we got more stuff. So we're gonna start with a harder sport. And just buff this thing up all we can. It's up to 12, and it's a veteran, so we're probably going to have something to hit. Um... Probably going to throw this glaze back. We don't want to kill off this bear, because it'll just res it. So we'll do... Three... And then one. Alright, Hime, for another bear. Yeah, this card, this deck is only running Restore, which means we really don't need a Glace. Half-Elf Hunter is more points, so we're going with him. I'm fine. I might just get a Fog going in a second, because it doesn't look like he's going to pass us. He's gonna try to bleed us out and get to a point where, like, he can make us spend two cards, I'm guessing. So he gets his card advantage in the last round. And gets his graveyard set up for restore and such. Because he's gonna restore that Hayme Spear Maiden. So we're just gonna get this fog ticking. And then play Neophyte. What do I have as choices? Recon, Marching Orders. Marching Orders gives me... Oh, okay. So, that's 56, 58. Ooh, that's absolutely one point off what I want it to be. Isn't it? 56. 58. I can count as much as I want. It's not going to equal what I want it to. <laughs> So we'll draw Bethne, sadly, for marching orders. Blech. Humans have no place in Broccolon. Everything all right? Oh, please don't hurt me. Let okay. Us sing the song of steel. We'll kill that off. There we go. Now, there's no golds or anything, so I could see a Mandrake, which Mandrake's about useless, too. Hmm. I might lose Vets. Yeah, because I don't want this Mandrake, but... A Glace... Mandrake's more dead than a Glace, though. Because Mandrake's only six points in this situation. Don't want a Neophyte yet, but we don't got much for Dalplathana. We know this guy doesn't run Scorch, and we don't have Final Say anyway, so dropping a Siren over here should be just fine. Time. This guy runs Scorch, I'll be super surprised. Alright, no, Priest of Freya seems pretty normal. Because I want to play this and get max value out of it. So we'll do three and then one before I drop my neophytes. This is one of the few decks that Iglesias is dead, so that's probably going to be finisher for us. Alright, so we'll play the first neophyte. 
This thing's up to 13. It's not going to have a 13 power target. It's going to have an 11, though, so that's like... We didn't get our Siri no- Oh! <gasps> Marching orders! Yes! The There's a good card! That's good. Okay. Glaze is not dead. We didn't get Siri no it's still, but... Hey. As long as we don't set ourselves up for Igni. Now 24. We now have a marching orders target, which is our swordmaster. Probably still going to lose because he still has a restore combo, which is a ridiculous combo. What? Well, he didn't get off the full restore Get combo though. Attack. Which is usually he may battle maiden. So that's not the worst that could have happened. So yeah, we're obviously taking marching orders for our Vader maker. Now, how did that incantation go? Nelzer's thunder. And pinging this off. He's out of priestess of Freya, so it doesn't matter. And it's looking like we're gonna lose. What are those last two cards? Give me something 14 points. Coral? Okay. So, kill off this 11 power. And buffer up to 10. Is that gonna be the deciding difference? 21 points. 21 points! Yes! Woo! It wasn't the, that one point on the glaze wasn't the deciding difference, but still, I was not, that was looking pretty loosey like. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that saved us is the fact that he ran marching orders, because usually Skellige runs nothing but restore, and it just hurts the glaze so much. So usually against Skellige, you just throw a glaze back, because they don't run recon, they don't run anything but... Restore, because Restore is just crazy OP. Maybe they'll run a Mandrake, but usually they'll just throw that back if they're in Skully Tull. Um, yeah, that that was surprising. The only reason we run one is because he was running Marching Orders, and Iglesias is absolutely busted when she can grab something like Marching Orders or anything like that. So that is the deck. Not too bad for a hand buff deck, actually. Uh, without a disloyal unit and ethne, which the ethne has been pretty handy a couple times. Because I like the fact that you can marching orders into your elven swordmaster if you had a set up that way. So yeah, that's a um, 7, 14, 19 point play. And then if you can buff one of them up, they're like really strong. The first lace and recon is actually a good idea. I do like that. And yeah, um, deck's surprisingly good. Only thing I'd probably say is take out... Dandelion Poet for Triss and try that, but Dandelion Poet's been working fine since we don't run Roach. He hasn't he hasn't been able to draw me Roach. And if you play him after you thin Arlen onto your deck, he can't screw you there either. So <laughs> that's that's the choice. And that's about it for this one guys. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Till then, have a good one.